So hi, welcome to the Noise Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. And we're here with JT from Between You and Me. How's and we're asking some questions today <laughs> about their new single, Nevermind. So congrats on that, by the way. How do you feel about their sponsor so far? Uh, thank you, by the way. Uh, stoked, to be honest. Didn't really know what to expect um, being our first like independent release since uh, since 2016, I think, or some, whenever that first song was. Um, and yeah, the response for the first week of like of people listening was insane. Um, so thank you to anyone listening, uh, fans of Between You and Me and pumping money into our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> In the rich era. Not, not, not cut going to a label this time. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> um, the song fucking rocks. A total ass shaker. Oh, Thank hell you. yeah. An ass shaker. Yeah. Nice. That's that's the genre I'm trying to crack into. <laughs> Just sexy ass shaking music. Consider Fuck it yeah. done, man. Um, <laughs> like obviously so you put out the last record it was your last your last label release now we're going in it's the independent era was there any sort of like anxiety or hesitation kind of going into this being like well we don't have the backing of of any sort of label you know um no because we didn't really feel like we had one anyway yeah i i mean yeah. you guys are pretty public <laughs> about that <laughs> um uh i mean it, it is what it is like I'm sure it's, you know, different from our perspective and it's different from their perspective, but yeah. I don't think we were scared. It was just, it was more, it was more interesting, you know, like we, we didn't really know what the response w- uh, would be, especially cause it's like, it's kind of, I don't know. I I, th- I think it's like still within our realm. Never mind. It's like, uh, like kind of deadbeat cross real world, I think. Um, but I didn't know if that like more poppy sound was going to, you know resonate with everyone or if they're gonna go what the fuck this band's like selling out trying to make some money <laughs> little do they know we never make money <laughs> so i can't sell out can't sell out you're it's you're impossible. an international touring band from australia it's impossible to make money <laughs> that's impossible it all just goes to goes to flights and visas yeah, yeah that's expensive <laughs> sorry <laughs> Uh, I was going to so- start touring Yemen then. I think maybe that'll be cheap. <laughs> I, probably, yeah, like the Middle East and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, is there any meaning behind the single title or cover art? Uh, the title, I just wanted to rip off uh, Nirvana. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I just thought that was funny. The cover art, no, I'll, I'll be honest, there's not a whole lot of meaning behind this song but that's why that's how i like writing this kind of like fun music like i like just writing this kind of like fun bouncy stuff like with that because like we've had plenty of songs where we get deep Mm -hmm. and like you said we're in our booty shaking era so i just want i just want just carefree you know just good tunes like that and the song kind of came together in like a day too so like i was just in in a bit of a flow and i was like oh i'm feeling good I feel like I should be in California right now. Let's write a song. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about your writing process for the single? Um, I was trying to write to, cause we had studio time booked and I was trying to write to another, like couple songs that we were going to like go in there with. And I was just striking out and it happens. It happens more often than you think. Yeah. I was striking out big time and I was like, Oh, I gotta try something. So I picked up my acoustic and then just played this shitty riff and um, and then I put some piano to it and I was like, hang on a second. <laughs> and then I don't know, just like, you know, it sounded like shit, the demo, but in my head, I was like, oh, okay, I think I can kind of see where this is going. Put it together, send it in the chat and everyone's like, okay, this is the one we're, we're doing. So I kind of, kind of lucked out there and then just like finished like bits and bobs in the studio when we actually recorded it. But it was a breeze, that song. I wish they were all that easy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so I want you to tell us your favorite lyric off this track and what it means to you. Um. Okay. Favorite, favorite lyric. For no particular reason other than it's just funny and it's not even about anyone specific. Uh, but never mind about the bullshit. Jenny with the two kids living in a brand new house. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just weird. Very weird. I think it's going to be fun to sing. We haven't even practiced the song yet, so that's going to be just uh, knock the old rust off before we go on tour, um, and we'll have a. We'll have so a lot shouldn't of fun. you have like done that like a couple weeks ago yeah. or something? 
The tour, uh, your your leg of the tour starts in ten days, right? Obviously, yeah, you gotta get fine. to the U.S. before that. Um, yeah. No, we're gonna we got practice on Monday. Nice. That's enough time. <laughs> That's well, some tours we don't even practice. You know, <laughs> huh. you play the same songs enough, and it's just muscle yeah. memory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair you enough. Know, you just run through them once new, or twice. You knock them. Forget the words. Yeah. You sing. <laughs> you Someone sing. out there is bound to know the words. <laughs> Someone, and then you, then you like you pass it to the people in the front, and they're like mouthing the words, but then they do the fish mouth. They're like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Um. So, can you tell us a little bit, or tell us where your headspace is at while you're writing the song? Um. It was. Not desperation, but I was just really trying to get something going, you know, like something, a vibe going for a song. Because I was just like not having much luck. And then that's like, I guess, where like the lyric maybe started from. And then I kind of built, like I wrote the chorus first, I think. I think I had only written the chorus, actually. And then I sent it to everyone. And they were like, cool. So I was like, okay, that's cool. The chorus is, you know. That's the main part of the song. I'll write the rest in the studio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think sometimes it's hard. like sometimes a song will just, you know, come naturally and I have no idea how. I try and recreate the situations all the time and then I do it the exact same thing and then just nothing comes out of the noggin. So Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Know. Um that was actually gonna be my follow up question. <laughs> but yeah. never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> no, no, there you go. Fine. Um, hey. <laughs> so I do want to talk about the music video for a little bit. So yeah. if I'm not mistaken, it was shot on two different coasts, correct? Mm. <sighs> because no. or was the wait, wait, no, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Be- so when you guys were in New Jersey on the state ta- champs tour, you went and yeah, shot yeah. with Chris and Ben, like what, yes, like Long yes. Branch or some shit, and then yeah, California yeah, was because yes, I, I had heard, I had heard through the grapevine because Chris actually rents space in the office I work in. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Um, so I had heard Small through world. the, I had heard through right. the grapevine that like he had done stuff with you, and I was like, holy shit, like that, that's gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, and you know, do want to talk a little bit about the music video because obviously, um, yeah, Maddie Healy got popped in. You know, not he did. not mean what a, what to a be. good sniper that was. Yeah, and you know, there's <laughs> there's the connection of I knew one of the people that recorded it, so I just wanted to to chat a little yeah, bit. I don't really have a question, but just chat about oh, it. Oh no, you know? yeah, I mean, yeah. it was it was super fun. Like I think, like the the song, like you said, Ass Shaker. Yeah, just fun vibes. Wanted to like carry that through the music video, like show us having fun or whatever um we just like were we got filmed just doing a bunch of touristy shit going in photo booths looking at the pier going oh wow look at that (laughs) it was just it was just fun like it was it didn't feel like you know work at all or like it didn't feel like an effort and then when we went into the studio to shoot like the band scenes um we were doing like a practice run of Oh, just to get the shot and then everyone was like just do just do that exact thing no notes do that like five six times so it it was such an easy day such an easy day um and it was fun too like everyone was great to work with uh loved i loved uh going up to the hollywood sign or as close as i could anyway and because i don't think i've done that i don't think i've done that before so i was an actual tourist throughout this whole music video. <laughs> <laughs> love that oh, yeah uh, no i loved it it was sick um I'm, it turned out cool uh yeah i completely forgot that it was on two different coasts thank you for reminding me <laughs> <my brain's off. laughs> i had to like i had to double check because i was like i it looks like something chris and ben would do at least that portion yeah, of the music yeah. video and i was like yeah they're credited i, I i'm i'm yeah. not crazy on this one <laughs> <laughs> no it was it was a blast um hopefully we can work with them again hell yeah mm-hmm putting awesome. out new music uh so this one should be super super quick off top of your head i want you to describe this song for new listeners in three words no more no less hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of steal two of your words i'm just gonna call it a a colossal booty shaker <laughs> I do. That's love... a new genre. <laughs> I... <laughs> That's a new I... genre work. <laughs> new, new, uh, new Instagram bio. Um, mm-hmm. But I do love how that has kind of set the tone for the entire interview. Those couple of words that that were said at the mm-hmm. beginning. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I'll credit you. I'll Booty credit shaking. you, Glory. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> I do believe that was, that was me that said it. That so was I all expect shame. the tag in the in the Instagram bio. <laughs> hey, but. but I will take it as well. Uh, I'm cool with that. Uh, um, what's what's the what's the preferred what's the preferred term? Booty shaker or ass shaker? I like Knee saying slapper. ass shaker. Yeah, yeah. Ass. I'm gonna go with sounds better with an American uh, accent. Yeah, ass. booty shaker kind of sounds like something that you guys say in the down under. Um, booty shaker. I don't yeah. know if anyone booty. says booty down here, <laughs> except for the pirates. Fucking <laughs> 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 pirates. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm. All right. Um, so, in that same train of thought, is there a certain feeling or emotion you want listeners to have while going through the track? Oh, if I'm honest, um. Perfect setting is get stoned with your friends and have fun. But if you don't do that and you don't have any friends, um, listen by yourself in a dark room. Oh, <laughs> God damn. I don't That's know. a good turn. This is for, this is for everyone. This is for everyone. Mm. The, the, the goal is to put everyone in a good mood with this song. So whether you're already in a good mood, easy work. If yeah. you're in a bad mood and uh, and – the bullshit Jenny with the two kids doesn't get you up and about then I got nothing left I got no better songs for you <laughs> gotta, gotta try on the next one <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll try with the next release yeah uh, so while listening to this track what band or artist influence pops out the most to you if any um have you ever heard of someone called Reese Maston can't say no I, I don't think so it's like on on like one of those x factor or like Australian Idol shows here there was a song I was listening to of his and it's like it, it it was like years ago, years ago. Um, I don't think Reese is like um mustn't have done much internationally, but he was a big household name in Australia. Mm-hmm. And he had an absolute slapper that was just like a pop summer. It just it just feels like convertible music, you know what I mean? Like you're in a convertible mm-hmm. and uh your hair's not moving because it's all hairsprayed into That's... one big solid block. <laughs> That's uh-huh. the era I was going for. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. But but if I was to draw from something in the scene that we're in, I actually have no idea. If it, it most, like I said before, it's, it's kind of like our two songs, Real World and Dead Beat, put together, like sarcasm and pop. Sarcastic pop. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Punk. No. Oh. Ass shake. Oh. It's a long genre. It's a long. <laughs> it just, it just keeps one. growing every single time right. you say yeah, the words ass shaker. <laughs> Imagine yeah. when we put out another body of work. The title mm-hmm. of the genre of the genre is going to be insane by then. Yeah, this That's is just great. we've only had like twenty minutes to workshop this genre. I've got all the time in the world. Well, I mean, point, yeah. I mean, when when we inevitably chat because I'm holding you to it about mm-hmm. this next body of work, we will we will have plenty of time because the last time we talked about a long body of work, it was like an hour. It was like, just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this uh and I don't even know if when the next body of work will be, to be honest, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll chat for an hour. I'm sure we will. Is it a record? Is it an EP? Mixtape? Who knows? Collection of songs? Who knows? Mixtape. Do mm-hmm. they sell? Do they sell yeah. in pop punk? Yeah, uh, uh Magnolia Park dropped like two oh, mixtapes yeah like wait the cassette are we talking about the same thing like cassette, oh no no mix they just it's like it's just like it's too long to be an ep instead They're of calling it tapes. an album they just called it a mixtape instead <laughs> like, yeah. man that's a very niche market we're going for here it is hey you want to i mean it. i i don't know if a pop punk band outside of water parks can sell cassette tapes i'm just being honest literally yeah i, I don't see i wouldn't even know it. where to if you pointed a gun to my head and said, find a cassette tape in an hour, I'd have no idea where to look. <laughs> I would have no idea. Well, you could what actually you come over to my house. I have a whole collection of them, you know? Hey, it's all oh, water yeah, Just swing by in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, Christ. So I know you did say, not really sure where we're going with the next body of work, but since you guys have been posting that you're in the studio, I do have to ask, what can you tell us about what's been cooking in there? Um... Without, you know, getting in trouble. I don't think, I mean, what, we've got no fucking label. Who cares? I was going to so, say, um, there's no trouble. I don't know. I dropped man into an email and it's like, you got to cut that part, man. Yeah. Uh, nah, fuck him. We're, we're trying to, um, <laughs> we're, we're probably not going to do a record. Yeah. Just because of the huge cost. Yeah. That it is. Um, <sighs> I personally, I'm not, not 
we might not do this or not, but I would like to just like put out a few singles and, you know, see, I don't want to, you know, say, oh, we've got a record or we've got an EP, but I kind of just want to, since we're independent now, we'd like to focus more on writing and releasing music. Whereas before there was kind of not no point, but like if we were to do that, we'd be not making any money from it. But now, mm, mm. rolling in it, man. You never know. Yeah. Switching up the whole dynamic. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Plus, I love I love sitting on my couch too. So if, if it means just sitting on my couch and uh, writing music, I'm down. True. Exactly. Fair enough. Uh, so, what is your favorite memory that you made while creating this single? Oh, so um, a few of us, uh, there was like a little like a backyard like a little uh, artificial grass strip and the boys bought some golf clubs and those like little uh, plastic golf balls with the holes in them that don't go very far. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell you how many hours I spent playing golf. I'm not even any good. I spent more time <laughs> doing that than recording <clears throat> actual things that I was supposed to record. <laughs> but we how much some crazy you saved. <laughs> I know, I know. But you'll see me in the PGA next year, so... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Quitting the band PGA now. We, it was like, I don't know, it just felt very felt very school camp, like just the the stupid games that we're making up. Like we we got like some like a pot, like a, a vase or whatever, and we tried to hit balls into it. Then the, then it got smaller, then it got to like a coffee shot glass. Mm-hmm. Wild. Absolutely thrilling wow. stuff. You had to be there. That I won crazy. all the games. Oh, of <laughs> course, of course. Yep. Can't believe you're a golfer now. No one's That's no one's here to defend ways. themselves, so I won. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so for this question, I want you to picture you're on tour. You're at a gas station for a rest stop. You're going in. What is your snack of choice? I mean, oh, there's not a whole lot that's good to be honest. It's all like not not good, but like. If you were at gas stations a lot and you eat this stuff all the time, you'll mm. be ill very yeah. quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The first thing that my eye goes to, like, I, I, they're disgusting, but like the rotating hot dogs are so fascinating to me because <laughs> we don't have them back home. Probably because it's very like, <laughs> they've probably been sitting there for a week, but there's something so fascinating. You walk in there, they're, they're glistening with oil and, and the, the artificial lights hitting them, they look, they look, mwah. delectable. But what I get, what I get, oh, what can I get? Just, just like crisps or something. There's, n- there's never anything you know that great, unless you can snag like a sandwich, or like a fruit cup or something. You know. Yeah. Other than that, everything's pretty gnarly. Uh, Bassy ate some, some seasoned crickets one time. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't quite. I think he just said they taste like nothing. So yeah, there you go. Crickets. If you're going to a gas station, don't buy crickets. Buy the jalapeno hot dogs that have been sitting there for two weeks. <laughs> you Mm-mm. you had me scared when you started talking about the the hot dogs, and I thought you were going to say that like you are a gas station hot dog supporter. I almost left. It's just it's just yeah. bizarre though. It's bizarre. Like mm-hmm. who know who knows who's checking them? No one's sitting there checking them. They just no. they roll. They just exist. You know, don't we all feel like that sometimes? We just exist glistening in sweat and oil, depending on the weather, depending on where you're from. Okay. Okay. Right now. Yeah. It's pretty it's grim pretty, over here. Yeah. It's pretty grim. It looks pretty cool over there. Isn't it like the fall weather. there or something? I don't fucking know. What is it? It's uh April. I always have to do this summer, autumn, winter. It's autumn now. Yeah. What's autumn? Is I'm that like fall the... for you? Is yeah, that... that's yeah. what's ah, because the leaves fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. I was like, every everything's <laughs> ass backward there. I'm like, how do I fucking not know? <laughs> I've been there so many times. I don't know. It's a, but you don't live here, so it's okay. Like you don't yeah, you don't right. get acquainted. See, that's with, why I'm with fascinated everything. by the hot dogs. Yeah. Because I don't see them all the time. As long as you don't eat them, because yeah. you might not be able to play shows for a couple of days. Hey, if Mm-mm. we get sponsored by Rolling Hot Dogs, Mm-mm. you don't want that sponsor. <laughs> you don't want that shit. Man. I mean, they're in their they're in their money money bankroll era. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do anything for a, a buck. For a buck, yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my. Um. So on the topic of food, if the band was a dish, what dish would the band be, and why? That is. A, interesting question 
Um, I'm just gonna look. I've got no. What have we got? I'll just say a supreme pizza. Bit of everything on there, you know. Mm. A lot of personalities. Mm-hmm. There's a bit of everything on the on the crust, you know. Absolutely. Other than that, what the fuck? What would I pick? What's a good answer? What's a funny answer? Pasta, <laughs> rice, rice, rice is pretty plain though. Yeah, yeah I mean, it depends on what you what you pair with it. Yo, I guess. rice, balsamic vinegar. What the? You ever had rice and gravy? Nope. What the fuck? Rice and gravy. Actually, just thought about. actually, Jamaican rice and gravy. Yes, Ooh, yes, I have okay. had that. I've had that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm lying too. It's a katsu. Katsu is rice and gravy. Oh, sh- oh yeah, yeah. That is why I've had that. That's good as well. So yes, I shot down rice and gravy too quickly. Rice yeah, and yeah. balsamic <laughs> so glaze, I. though. I don't know what the fuck Bro, you're talking about over shit there. Shit is man. crazy. That's like like sour rice. Yeah, that's it. Nah, it's got a little bit of sweet to it. And like you know, I don't I know. I might make just, some today. It, it, make some today, and I'll get back to you on. On what the verdict is. Is it better than a spinning hot dog? Time will tell. Probably. probably. I, also yeah. healthier for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. That's probably true. Yeah. It's probably not yeah. stuff growing on it. Yeah. Wait, so back to the spinning hot dogs. Have you tried the hamburger hot dog? Have you seen What's that? that? What's a hamburger hot dog? The, the so basically, st- it's like ground beef stuffed into a hot dog filling, like a, a wrap, basically. And Stephen from... Oh. Um, Chelsea Grin called it a hot dirger. <laughs> I forgot Sounds about that. Foul. It sounds oh foul. my god. It made me sick before a show. Like I thought I was gonna like die in the pit. You had, one like, uh, you had yeah. why would you eat one? I had it because I was like, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a gas station hot dog before a show. And then I, and then my brothers got, you know, like, the no regular one ones. <laughs> Dude, it was it was crazy. I I I genuinely I thought I was gonna die in that pit. It was you yeah. poor thing. You be pulled through. Never again though. No, no. So I'm just I think I'm they're just they're just, just good to, to look you at. You know, it. they're just good to look at from a distance. A distance, kind of like the sun. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't want to get close too close to that. <laughs> no. I'm on one today. Maybe maybe I just didn't have enough sleep. It's hey, okay. You're running on three hours. You're good. <laughs> Oh, God, stay crazy over here. Uh, so for these last couple of questions, we're actually going to mm. shift away from music, if that's okay with you. Go for it. Awesome. So if you could be one animal for the rest of your life, which animal would you be and why? Uh, Nova Scotian duck tolling retriever. That is or a bird. Okay. Specific. <laughs> 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 uh, if I wasn't going to be a, a happy dog, Mm-hmm. I'd be like an eagle or something, just because like I have shit eyesight. They have good eyesight and they fly. Yeah, you know, best yeah, of both worlds. Absolutely. I'd like to just chill, you know, just like you see birds like just float, yeah. just in a pocket of wind, and they're just doing fuck all. That yeah. I do that, but without the flying, you know. So, so I feel like, like I'm, singing? I just do fuck all most of the time. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like I'd I'd go pretty well as a bird. Just do what I do now, but just in the sky. <laughs> I love it. Really, I really striving that. here. <laughs> Shoot for the stars. <laughs> um, so if you could have lunch with any celebrity or artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh. Lunch. Yeah. Where, where where are we going for lunch? Maybe this is gonna depend this is gonna hmm. affect who I pick. I'm Olive think- Garden. Olive Garden will be balling. I personally think like a very, very expensive coffee house, like in LA. Okay. But Whoa. honestly, I agree with the Olive Garden. Yeah. Because then you can just gorge in front of this celebrity that you're meeting exactly. for the first time with the unlimited salad and breadsticks. Bread sticks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah those breadsticks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, there's there's a few, but I, I don't know why I'm going to say this, but Jeff Hardy. The wrestler from WWE. Oh. I used to love him as a kid. I used to love him. He was my absolute idol. That's why I started jumping off stage. I was like, oh, I want to be like Jeff Hardy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know how interesting the lunch would be, though, to be honest. Oh. I don't know what we'd have in common. <laughs> but especially if we're eating breadsticks, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're, you'll be so focused on eating because really they don't even give you enough time to finish the salad. 
the, yeah. the, the food's already in front of you by that point. Three baskets of breadsticks. Here you go. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so good. Um, so for this last question, boom, you're on a deserted island. You can bring one person, one movie, and one album. Who and what are you bringing? Person, movie, album. Mm-hmm. Album is either going to be Direction by The Starting Line. Mm-hmm. Or what's that third eye blind record? The green one, out the vein or in the vein or whatever that Something one's called. A vein. Mm-hmm. Some sort of vein. Uh, yeah. Movie. Okay. Uh, have you heard of like the the website Tubi? Yes. T U B I. Oh my god, I they love have Tubi. some absolute stinkers on there, but I it's fucking awful. love it. They're <laughs> yeah. all awful. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been getting a kick out of that lately. Um, Jurassic Shark is a good one if you haven't seen that. I need to see that. I'm adding that to my list. Have you seen Toxic Shark? No. You got. Have you see seen it. Sand Shark? No. Have you seen Man Shark? Have you seen Shark Side of the Moon? <laughs> have you seen the Seven Legged Shark? Fuck! No way. These are actually. Moves. You guys are just making shit up now. No. Yeah. I'm not. I own I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um. So for my movie, I'm gonna pick none of them. Um. Damn it. I would have to go with forgetting Sarah Marshall with Jason Segel, oh. or like I Love You Man with Paul Rudd. Something, something Paul Rudd or or like Soup Bad, one of those Pineapple Express. Any, any. Oh, I love Pineapple Express. Dumb stoner comedy. Absolutely. Person, um, what island are we on? Just a, a island, like five trees, uh, coconuts. Bear yeah, Grylls. I'm taking Bear Grylls. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Just All so right. I can drink piss out of his sock. <laughs> <laughs> that is such an interesting way to end this off. That's a, that's a it's crazy reason a fucking reason spinning why. hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and today, I'm going to drink my own piss. It's always no, Bear. And- <laughs> don't do it please no that's great no. Um, so as Glory said that's all the questions we have today is there anything that you would like to plug ah mm-hmm. uh, just listen to our music we're independent now we actually make money from songs thank you for sharing them if you want to plug anything we're touring with Knuckle Puck and Real Friends in like 10 days come to a show oh what else what else you got me Spotify Follow us on Instagram, all that, all that jargon. It's B Y A M A U S. Twitter, I don't have Twitter. Do whatever you want with that. Um, my Venmo is no, I'm kidding. <laughs> bro, drop the Venmo. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, thank you. That, that was a that was a good way to end. I reckon that that question oh, got yeah. the brain thinking. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, thank you for now. It's been JT from uh, Between You and Me, and we have been the Good Noise Podcast. <laughs>